the American dream was to own a home in the suburbs. Get this, in 1949, you could buy a house in Levittown, New York, for about $8,000, just $90 down. Gas was 27 cents a gallon. In today's dollars, the house would go for $73,000, the gas $248. Cheap gas helped the burbs bloom. Now with the price around four bucks, Ben Tracy reports, suburbanites are facing the harsh realities of changing times. The promise of the suburban dream. What do you guys want? I want a snow cone. Is what brought Nicole Sinelli and her daughters to this neighborhood, say? more than 30 miles outside of Sacramento, California. I mean, I think it's everybody's dream to own a home and then have their kids grow up in their home, you know, like they used to so many years ago. 60 years ago, cheap gas and new highways helped fuel suburbia's rapid rise, creating a new American utopia. But now, the triple threat of falling home values, empty nesters returning to the city, and sky-high gas prices is driving suburbia to the brink. Some developments are left half-built, while other homes look abandoned. Demand for suburban housing is dropping so fast that a recent study predicts that by 2025, there will be a surplus of 22 million large lot homes in suburban areas. Nicole can't afford the $800 in gas she burned each month commuting to her job, so she's selling her house for less than half what she paid for it. It sounds hard to believe, but some experts are now predicting that this could be the beginning of the end of suburbia, that far-flung neighborhoods like this one could be tomorrow's slums. I think the project of suburbia is over. Author James Howard Kunstler has been predicting the decline of the suburbs for more than 15 years. He says housing far away from job centers won't survive. We have put so much of our national wealth and even our identity into the idea of suburbia that we can't imagine having to let go of it or substantially change it. But change is building in Sacramento. The region adopted a back to the future approach known as smart growth, high density development in walkable neighborhoods near job centers and transit. In the past three years, projects with apartments, condos and townhomes increased 533%, while the number of subdivisions with large homes dropped 21%. The rapid rise in gas prices over the last six months has, has made that general direction this region had decided to go look like an especially good decision. McKeever doesn't believe suburbs will disappear overnight, but says buying on the far edges of a region is now an economic gamble. That's a risky bet. It might pay off, but it's a risky bet. I mean, where are we all going to go? Nicole Sinalia plans to rent near her job, but she still thinks about the life she used to have. I don't miss the commute, but I miss the idea. I miss that it was mine. A dream abandoned miles away, now beginning to fade. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Sacramento.